Alrighty, well, good evening, everybody, and uh, cast time once again. And then, um, it's been a, it's been I think a couple weeks since I did one of these. Um, I'll, I'll probably explain more about it later on, but let me, uh, let me intro this music real quick. Um, this is gonna be another one from Iron Cthulhu Apocalypse. I think this came out about a week ago. <coughs> Anyway, this is going to be 2025 Alien Judgment Day. So, and this is also abandoned Melmond, wherever that is. So, so let me go ahead and rewind her back to start. but let's go ahead and get her started um well for um okay i'll first i'll talk about today's stream um well for one miracle of miracles fx3 actually worked today i think um with the exception of maybe one other time that i can think of um that day and today are the only two times in the past few weeks that uh pinball fx3 actually worked and then sort of kind of by extension pinball arcade as well or the dx11 version so but on top of that it's like yeah i think i better turn that down holy sh and i forgot to do a proper sound check on this um this time around i'm uh I actually, um, I actually have the music coming from my uh, external speaker. That is something else I started doing recently when streaming. Um, I can't remember what tweak I did to it, um, but uh, but yeah, I no longer have to wear headphones when uh, streaming or creating content. I could just play it straight out of my external speaker. But yeah, let me I'll start. I'll start with the video itself. Still checking, still checking. I'll just leave it there. So I can at least hear it a little bit. But anyway. Um, but yeah. I I figured out on a again, I don't remember what adjustment I made, but I set it up to where I don't have to wear the headphones anymore. I could just have uh, everything coming straight out of my external speaker. And the sound quality is a lot better too. So uh, but yeah, it was also it's also one of the things that uh, made me want to play pinball more often. Now that I can actually hear the full spectrum of sound effects from these pinball machines, you know, now I can, it, it makes it for a more enjoyable experience. So, <coughs> but yeah, um, but yeah, today FX3 actually worked, but on the downside, I pretty much sucked ass. So yeah, pretty pretty bad. Um, same with DX11, Pinball Arcade. Um, played it. Um, I think I did pretty badly on that as well. So yeah, it's like the one time that these games actually work, I suck on them. So, but um, but the the whole rest of the other time though, I basically subsisted on a uh, DX9 pinball arcade. So, um, I think uh, maybe one instance that I can think of, all the other times, it's it's been crash-free. And then, I also began to know, I also began to notice too, when playing DX11 today, I, I think I'm Starting to actually prefer the DX9 version of Pinball Arcade than uh, the DX11. For uh, various reasons, I know one of them being uh, I could actually make the ball a lot. The ball is actually a lot brighter on the DX9 version than uh, DX11. I mean, 
I mean, to be sure, yeah, DX11, the ball's still pretty bright. So I, I can I can still see it fairly easy, but uh, on DX9, it's it's even easier. I mean, it looks like this big old big old round marshmallow rolling around. So, and then um, I think there's a I think there's another few reasons too, um, none of which I can think of at the moment. I know graphically. As you'd, as you'd expect, DX11 does look a little better. But it's not like the DX9 version was like total, totally hard on the eyes or anything. So. <coughs> but yeah, for the, for the past few weeks, this is what I've mostly been doing. Um, and also something I've been doing recently is uh, taking all my stream vids and actually exporting them to YouTube. Uh, throwing them on, throwing them on there as well. So, okay, and there was something else that I was wanting to say about this. I'm trying to trying to remember what it was. in my brain. Um, but... Oh, and, um... But, uh, another huge upside to streaming pinball. I've done this before, but, uh... Um... I... I, I don't really want to... Here, here, let me... Let me... Let me see if I can. All right, there's gonna in a minute or two, there's gonna be a there's gonna be a wonky window that might pop up, and I think I did talk about this in um one of my other cast videos. Okay. So, but yeah, one of the one of the reasons why is I mean I get a fair amount of people checking me out playing pinball. Um, back when I was streaming idle games, nobody dropped by. I mean, part of it's understandable. I mean, freaking idle games, almost no action at all. Now that was a well twenty two. That was a low number, but still better than all. When I was streaming idle games. Yeah, 43 and uh a guy named uh, FPS ISU. It almost looks like a password. I just call him F for short. Yeah. Uh got a new subscriber. So I now have two, but I mean 62 people. You know, it's like it's like, yeah, a lot I mean, a lot of people seem to like what I do. You know, it's nice that um you know, it's nice that a lot of people like the same thing I do, pinball. So. <coughs> so, so, yeah, definitely, um, you know, definitely motivates me to play more of that. And then, um, oh, and I forgot to mention at the start of this cast, this was a um, kind of a kind of a hastily put together put together cast. I'll I'll probably talk more about this later. So let me let me back up a bit. Once again, sorry for the delay, but yeah, some really bad preparation on my part.
this. You know, and and I kind of said this, you know, about me, uh, kind of rewinding back a bit to me uh, talking about uh, exporting, uh, exporting videos to YouTube. So, I'm not sure how well you can see this. You know, but I, I get, yeah, I mean, even exporting my videos to YouTube, um, I get quite a people checking them out as well. I mean, you know, 29, 25, 42, 22, you know, 10 of them, so on and so forth. And then, um, and then back when I was doing just the, um, I think more on this later, but just me, um, putting together these short quickie sessions I had a shit ton of people checking them out too so yeah so but like I said I did um there was a period of time earlier when uh, I was streaming pinball consistently, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna take a drink of some water here. You know, it, it was, it was the same thing though. Um, and I think, um. I think I went earlier on, it was actually short-lived. Uh, it was also because when FX3 and DX11 were crashing, that was when, um, it was, I think it was actually what got me, uh, got me streaming on uh, idle games. Because I was out of options anywhere else, because I think it was right around that time that, um, my graphics card and or the drivers were all fucking up. So, that was resulting in a lot of game crashes. So, at least with idle games, or at least with most of them, they didn't crash. So, that's why I had to turn to stream in those games. But, um, I think also back then, I didn't know, I didn't know how to, how to brighten the ball on DX9. It, for those that don't know, um, back in the day, uh, I avoided DX9 Pinball Arcade like the plague because... At that time, I didn't know how to brighten the ball, which meant that uh, the ball was practically camouflaged into the table. I had a very hard time tracking it, especially when it was moving really fast. So, but like I said, um, recently I figured out how to brighten it up. So, so yeah, I can, you know, I can play DX9. Although I forgot to say this earlier, but I am getting kind of burnt out on a pin, on pinball arcade. I mean, that's what I was streaming every day. Pinball Arcade, because FX3 kept crashing, and Zachariah, I also have that game too, I only, uh, but, I only play it as, a kind of as a form of punishment, because uh, a lot of the tables on there are so poorly designed, it's like, it's like the, the flippers don't matter, because the ball oftentimes is just gonna go from the plunger straight to the drain anyway, or, one design flaw I can think of is uh, they, some of them tables they uh, they have the bottom slingshots partially in front of the flippers, so like I said, your the the flippers are pretty much taken out of the equation on a lot of those tables. So like I said, I only go there when I'm uh, I'm having a really bad time with the with FX3 and the pinball arcade, so. But anyway, I think I've, uh, I've talked about pinball and, and streaming pin, pinball and all that a little bit too long, so... So yeah, definitely gotta move along. And then um, another game I picked up recently, uh, Vampire Survivors. Um, it's freaking addictive as hell game. I mean... But I guess uh, me, like a lot of other people, were hooked. Um... If you could, um, if you could picture an arcade game, like, uh, 
Robotron 2084 or Smash TV or Total Total Carnage. They're like 80s arcade games, arcade shoot 'em ups. Vampire Survivors is kind of like that, except auto fire. So, but yeah, um, cool as hell game, and on top of that, uh, you can use a uh, you can use a controller and a mouse and a keyboard. And in fact, since the uh, I think you only use a uh, you only use a joystick and one single button, and that I think that one single button you only use for uh, selecting stuff and menus and stuff like that. But you don't use it to actually fire or anything. So I mean, otherwise, like I said, uh, about 90% of the gameplay is done with just a joystick or an analog stick, or if you have a keyboard, you know, W A S D, or hell, you can even you can even also use the uh, the up, down, left, right directional arrows, which which is what uh, which is what I do, which is what I do at times because there uh, because there is one drawback to this game. Um, it does work with a controller, but if for some reason the, the the controller connection gets interrupted, as as often happens on my um, on my own controllers, uh, then your the game will no longer recognize it. And you're forced to go with the mouse and keyboard. So when that happens, I actually do a combination of a uh, W A S D and uh, and the uh, directional keys both at the same time. So, but like I said, that's one of the cool things about this game. You could use almost anything for uh, for controls. And oftentimes, you can use them interchangeably. Like, yeah, you can use a uh, controller and mouse. I've done that before. So, it's a very... How do I put this? It's a very uh, modular game. I think that's the word I'm looking for. But, but like I said, um... But yeah, it's you know, masses of monsters uh, start piling all start piling on top of you. You have to you have to kill them all. Oh, I know. And on top of this, I think it's a it's a pixel game, so it's not very graphics intensive. So I've had I've literally had the entire screen full of monsters, and even with a piece of shit computer that I got, it doesn't really lag it that much. And. As you probably would have guessed too, it doesn't crash my computer. So yeah. Um, but uh, one big downside is that uh, OBS, my OBS program doesn't recognize it. So I can't uh, I can't record video or I can't record videos. In fact, I, in fact, I just remembered a few days ago I actually did that. I did like a a thirty minute gameplay run. Um, so, theoretically, you can, but, uh, problem with that is, is, by the time I got through with it, I think, uh, my video was, like, 9 gigabytes. You're looking at about 2 or 3 hours there just to get that thing uploaded. So, yeah, I definitely ditched that project. So, but, but once again, um, the game is, ba at least with me, basically unstreamable. Like I said, my OBS program, it doesn't recognize it. It just... When I try to capture it, it comes up as a black screen. So, but yeah, um, but I'm, I'm definitely been playing the shit out of this game. In fact, let me um, let me look at the stat roll. Let me look at the stats real quick. Yeah, um, just got it like yesterday or the day before, and I've already I've already spent 13 hours on the game, so. <coughs> but yeah, and, uh, most likely I'll probably be playing more of it today. So. Look, that'll do it for that. Uh oh, flicker. And then um, and then what? Kind of going back to what I was saying towards the start of this video, um. I haven't I haven't done a bit one of these videos in a couple weeks. Um, for the most part, burnout, and then um, and 
I do need to rewind back a little bit. All right, so I kind of botched it earlier. So you might get um you might get the pinball window back. Okay, good. Okay, buddy, but, um, but yeah, like I said, I haven't done one of these in a few weeks. So. Okay, it's fixed. But yeah, so. No, uh, I bet, um. But uh, one of the, I think one of the reasons why is, um. YouTube came out or came out with a new old feature. I think I might have talked about might have talked about this in um one of my most recent casts. But um oh well, let me uh let me take a drink of water real quick. But yeah, they um it's a it's a fairly old feature, but and for the briefest of periods, I had it, but they decided to change it so that uh, you have to have at least 500 subscribers in order to use it. But uh, again, up until a few weeks ago, or let me rephrase that, a few weeks ago, they made the option available to everybody, including me. So because of that, I've had a, I've had less of a need to do uh, to do these cast videos, especially on days where I didn't really do much. So, you know, if all I did was, like, like, watch this really super cool movie, then, yeah, I'll just, you know, I'll put that on my YouTube post. You know, it's because, you know, because these, these, uh, cast videos, they actually take a fairly long amount of time to, time to set up and stuff. So, I mean, we're talking at least an hour to get everything all put together. It wasn't like when I first started doing these a few years ago, just simply uh, toss up a YouTube video and just talk behind it. I become a lot more elaborate over time. So I'm at a point where uh, on one end, I don't want to regress back. I mean, I don't want to go back and just, you know, just throw a YouTube album up and just talk over it. I, I'm not there anymore, to, to quote Miles Davis. But at the same time too, I mean, especially if, uh, especially if there actually is something I want to talk about, and if there are, uh, if there actually is, if there actually are, you know, let me back up. Especially if there actually are a lot of visuals and, you know, a lot of flashcards, etc. You know, just you know, if I want to add a big visual aspect to to the cast video, then that could something like that can go on all evening, and sometimes it can go on into the night too. So, but like I said, there's, it's it's not a simple matter of just popping up all the popping up all the visuals. Like I gotta I gotta go chase them down. Or if you've ever seen any of my uh, behind the scenes parts of my cast videos, you'll you'll know the uh, amount of time and effort it takes to put one of these together, especially when they're especially when they can be pretty detailed. I think um, but I think I think my sub my subconscious is I think what it's trying to tell me is there's got to be an easier way to do this. You know, being able to make them quickly but without sacrificing quality. Um, my one answer is first getting a new computer, two getting a good um, uh, getting a good um, uh, getting a good movie editor. Or getting, you know, like Windows, 
I already have Windows Movie Maker, but it sucks. My OBS program actually works better for making movies than a freaking Movie Maker does. So, you know, so... And then, um... I'm not trying to... Not not trying to sound entitled. And I'm not trying to... I'm not trying to denigrate anybody that actually does check these videos out. They're always appreciated, but... You know... You know, compared to... Compared to pinball... I mean... You know, this... My last cast was bought out a couple weeks ago. Five views. Seven views. Nine views. Eleven. 121 views on this one uh, pinball arcade video that I basically uh, played for about a half hour. Seven. Oh, here's a fluke, 16. Here's an even bigger fluke, 30. 9. 7. I use the uh, Pink uh, Pink Floyd The Wall thumbnail, 18. But you kind of get the idea, though. So, so, again, I'm not, I'm not acting entitled or anything, but, you know, considering all the effort that I put in, to make one of these and only like you know a small handful of people check out so yeah it just the rate I mean the ratio it, it's really not how I put this the ratio isn't that great now I don't uh, and I don't expect those videos to have like a huge massive amounts of people like compared to pinball but less than 10 So, so yeah, that's that's pretty much where my mind is at right now when it comes to cast videos. I guess um, the way it's looking right now, if I have enough content, like like really really important stuff, like major news flashes, enough to make a full cast video, then um, that's probably what I'll that's probably what I'll do. You know, but if uh, but if it's if it's gonna be like the way the way it has been the past few weeks, or especially some of those days in those past two weeks where I really didn't do a whole lot, then um, I'll probably just um, uh, I'll probably just create a YouTube post or something. Like if there was something that really stood out. So, but like I said, I don't. I most certainly don't want to. I don't want to abandon the cat. I don't want to abandon these cast videos. But I'm. I'm probably going to be uh, doing these more intermittently. Again, just if I had. I mean, if I had like a totally, totally action-packed day, just a whole lot of stuff worth talking about. Then yeah, I'll probably make a cast video out of that. But because a lot of these other videos that I was making, um. I was making them just because it was a night off or because just for the sole purpose of making them. So, you know, just a whole, a whole lot of effort going into, you know, into, I had the word for it. A whole lot of effort going into a waste of a day. That's for lack of a better phrase right there. So But yeah, once again, kind of a quick recap. Um I'm probably not gonna be doing these cast videos as much. So I mean, again, especially now that uh now that I can make YouTube posts.
But alrighty, um, nice red line there. Otherwise, that's gonna do it for me, everybody. Um, I think I've said all the things that I wanted to say today. So, so, yeah. Um, but yeah, and and I forgot to mention earlier, I am off tonight. I requested Wednesday off a few weeks ago and actually got it. So, but um, tomorrow and Friday is is my is my work week. So. So if I do make another cast video, um, it'll probably be, um, it'll probably be on Sunday morning. So, but thanks for uh, tuning in and listening to me, though, everybody. I appreciate that. Always do. And um, until next time, take care.